<laughs> it's like, me, I would have been. Now we know that, but now I'm trying to support this. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, no. Uh, all right. But it's unfortunate that uh, Trump didn't win. <laughs> So we have to first start off by saying congratulations to Hillary Clinton for her uh, amazing victory in uh, the election here. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, however, there are some people who are not in congratulatory moods and they are not happy about the situation. And this is why we're here today. Today we're going to have a debate about why or why not Hillary Clinton, President, United States. Blue group, red group, hit the podium. Okay. All right. So, uh, in our customary fashion, of course, we're going to begin with. Uh, the blue group, and hopefully we can hear some very interesting things here in round one from the blue and the red group. You got three minutes, blue group. You may begin. Hello, everyone. My name is Laura, and I'm representing the blue group. We have the negative side of the topic, which is Hillary Diane Jordan Clinton for President 2016. So I'm going to start off by stating why we disagree that Hillary Clinton should not be the next president of the USA. In this debate, we're going to break down important information and facts that were well documented about the true person that she really is. Hillary Clinton is a 69-year-old year old, um, candidate in the 2016 USA presidency debates. From the beginning of her political career, she worked on the Watergate investigation at a job where she, where she was fired from because of unethical behavior. Her own boss said that Hillary at the time confiscated public records and lied to government officials, and as we go on, these cases get a lot worse. When, Hil when Hillary Clinton was in charge of the State Department, she had her own servers for her own emails. She made sure that she was in full control of every email that was sent out. Now, this is illegal. She broke the law. Not only that, but when it came to individuals in Congress to question those emails to find out what happened to Benghazi, Hillary didn't even respond to them. And then later on, she said she deleted 30,000 out of 60,000 emails that, uh, when she was Secretary of State, when she was working as a public official for the American citizens. The American citizens' taxes were paying her to work for them. She made sure her job was secretive. What was she hiding? What was she not wanting the Americans to know? Or what was she up to? She was lying and manipulating and afraid of people finding out what she was doing, and now no one will because she illegally broke the law and deleted the emails. Also, she, she has com campaigned for president as an extension of the Obama presidency, which has been disastrous, particularly on the, ur on the urgent issues of debt and national security. If that alone weren't enough to disqualify her, then her almost contemptuous disregard for the rules and laws that govern other public officials and the rest of the country surely is. I got my sources from Ivy Times and New York Times. Good. Okay, thank you very much, Blue Group. Now we're going to move our attention to the Red Group. You got three minutes. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ahmed Nuss from the Red Group. Uh, I'm now representing the point why should we vote for Hillary. Uh, first of all, Hillary's plan was lowering student debts, uh, criminal justice reform, uh, the, uh, a, 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 a better Supreme Court, improving, improving costs of uh, Affordable uh, Care Act, and women's rights. That, I got that from Clinton's campaign site. Uh, Hillary will have a better Supreme Court, will, uh, ha will do a lot better in the country's economy, will fight more for women's rights, uh, and she's always honest even if, when, uh, even if when she's wrong, even when she does a mistake, she, uh, she completely says that she was wrong and that she's responsible for that mistake. Uh, and, uh, and she always fights for the women's rights. And uh, considering the email, give me a second. Uh. 
there, yeah, FBI Director James B. Comey uh, investigated uh, and announced in, on July the 5th, 2016, that the agency would not uh, recommend criminal charges against Clinton, saying, we do, not, uh, we do not find clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her uh, colleagues intended to uh, violate laws uh, violate laws gover governing and handling of uh, classified information that's, uh, that's concerning her private email that she used for, uh, uh, yeah, that, uh, that she used for, uh, conven uh, for convening as allowed, as it was supposed to be allowed by the State Department protocol. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. That, that brings us to the end of round one. Have a seat. Purple, I mean blue group and red group. Two minutes to defer with your team. That brings us to our end of our pause here. Let me get the blue group and the red group back to the podium for round two. First of all, I wanted to say the private email thing over again. Clinton stated that uh, that uh, she had uh, utilized her personal email for convening as allowed to uh, as allowed by the State uh, Department protocol. She later turned over all governmental uh, cor uh, correspondence to the Obama uh, ad administration. So at the end, all the emails considering the country, not her personal emails, were turned over to the Obama administration as it always did. And the FBI investigators said that that's exactly what happened. No emails were deleted but her personal emails uh, and that probably they have a really good team to know that. And she said, as I have said many times since September 11, I take responsibility and nobody is more committed uh, to, get, to getting this right. I am I'm determined to leave the State Department and our country safer, stronger, and more secure. That's what she said. She won't do any harm to the country. And uh, about the Benghazi attack, uh, that's a lot. Of, uh, that's the thing that a lot of people like to talk about. Uh, the Benghazi attack, first of all, was sudden. America tried to take actions, but uh, there are no. Uh, but there were. Uh, but there were no military assert, 
in, in the in the like neighboring regions who, who were placed on alert or reposition. A lot of countries were, uh, were were not prepared and they couldn't get there in time. But when President Obama and Miss uh, and Miss uh, Hillary uh, studied the issue within one hour and thirty minutes after the sudden attack, uh, their their response was try your best to save American lives. And after five hours, the soldiers were at the point and they rescued lives back to America. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Red Group. Purple group, you got three. I mean, blue group, you got three. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Sarah. I'm presenting the blue group for the second round. Uh, we disagree that Hillary Clinton should not should be the president of the uh, United States 2016 because, first of all, of the Libyan issue, her health issues, her racism, and her disrespect against the president and her lying strategies. Okay, so first of all, she took a huge part of the Libyan civil war. Julian Assange, who is the founder of the WikiLeaks, stated that Libya, more than anyone else's war, was Hillary Clinton's war, when Barack Obama initially opposed it. There is more than 1,700 emails out of her. 33,000 of Hillary Clinton's emails were published just about Libya. It's not about that Libya has cheap oil, but she perceived the removal of Gaddafi and the overthrow of the Libyan state, something that she would use to run in general election for president. There is also a document called Libya TikTok that's produced by Hillary Clinton, and it's a chronological description of how Hillary Clinton was the central figure of, of central figure of the destruction of the Libyan state. And also, finally, she left about the Gaddafi's death. About her health issues, she is physically weak, and her health is unstable due to her age, because she is 69 years old and the seizure when, and when people warned her that her health care wouldn't work even though she lost conscious many times. She was caught drinking one month, one month before the attack of Benghazi in 2011 in Colombia and many videos posted of her drunk. Okay, so for her, uh, her evidence for racism, she makes fun of black people. She says black, black men in hoodies are scary. She also participated in racist joke about CP time. The offense stereotype the, American, the African American were frequently late. She also imitated a black accent. She's, she's a good liar. Because she, first of all, she refused to promise to never lie to the Americans. She even claimed she didn't know she was voting for a war when she cast her vote for the Iraqi war. Second of all, she lied about the attacks in Benghazi and ultimately aiding the Obama's reflection. She, she uh, uh, like the evidence for disrespect. She refers to Barack Obama as that man instead of uh, in the former of president. Who said that FBI uh, didn't file charges against him. FBI ruled Clinton was extremely careless in her use of private server and on July 6, charges were filed against her. He said that woman, he said that woman, she fights for women's rights, but she said women should shut up. You said that she admits her mistake, but she did not against Libya. Thank you. Okay, all right, so that's gonna conclude round two. Put it in the seat, red, red group and blue group. Take a break, confer with your team members. <laughs>
went first last. Uh, y'all want to go first? No. No. Time for round three so we can conclude this debate. Could I get the red group and the blue group back to the podium, please? Okay, we had the red group go first. Now we're gonna have to go have the blue group go first this time. We got two minutes, blue group. So to conclude our position on why she shouldn't be a president, and to put an end to this argument and to Hillary, racists shouldn't run for presidency. And if they do, they shouldn't win anyways. But unfortunately, she is winning. And with her lovely published diary that is full of her crimes against the Middle East, black people, Russians, and Libyans. Therefore, if you want a woman who is not in it for the American citizens and believes in open borders, open trade, double speed, has war on religion, and destroys women's rights, then you go right ahead and vote for her. But be sure that a full chronicle of Hillary Clinton crimes will someday fill a large shelf of books, if not a whole library. I know, right? Okay, all right, so thank you very much, Blue Group. <laughs> now we're gonna hear from the Red Group. All right, so I just wanna reassess my previous one on why we, uh, Hillary should be president. Uh, she is uh, really qualified to become president. She has like 30 years of experience of being president. Like, she's been a secretary for 30 years. So she knows what she's doing. Plus, she's dealt with like loads, like whenever a problem arises, she usually hears of it. So she knows what to do and what not to do when there's a problem that is related to the state. So if she's president, she'd be capable of dealing with that problem. Plus, America needs uh, a, a president that cares about them, and Hillary sure does care about America. <laughs> so, so uh, she, first of all, uh, she's a Democrat, and we all know that Democrats love the people. That's why she sure does. So, uh, since Hillary is a Democrat, she obviously cares a lot about the people. And I have proof, I think. Uh, like, she wants healthcare uh, to be like reduced because she wants like healthcare costs to be reduced so she can, so more people can access it so they can live because she loves the people. And uh, she wants to like put more taxes on rich people so she can give that money to the poor people because she does she likes equality. She she really loves equality. And. Um, yeah. State your resources. Huh? State your resources. The internet. <laughs> Wikipedia. Wikipedia. <laughs> Why are you guys talking to me? <laughs> Anyways, that's all. Okay. Thank you very much.